I am Jeff with One Byte Technology. Today's project is a mid uh, or a late 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro. Um, it had some liquid damage. It's in perfect condition. It's in, it's in really good shape, so it's worth saving. And what we're going to do is install an SSD, upgrade the memory, uh, apply DOS Dude One's DMUX to the graphics card because it's failing. And um, because of the, the original board in this unit was quite liquid damaged, it still turned on briefly, but then it started showing signs of the um, failed GPU, and the keyboard wasn't working, uh, and it wasn't the keyboard in the unit, it was something on the logic board. So instead of fighting with that, I've got stacks and stacks of these motherboards here, so I'm just going to use one of my boards that I already have sitting here that doesn't have liquid damage, apply the DMUX, and uh, install it in this unit. So this one that I have here is um, firmware locked and bad graphics card. So I'm actually going to switch the swap the BIOS chip with the customer's board and then apply the DMUX. This was the customer's unit. Won't we'll detect keyboard liquid damage, so I'm just going to pull the BIOS chip from it. Okay, so I got the other BIOS chip on there and I'm just going to make sure that it functions.
Okay, so that worked. I'm, I'm getting the uh, recovery screen here instead of the EFI lock. So next we'll move on to the DMUX. I'll put this board back together first. Okay, so I booted it up. It's booting to the customer's drive. Um, there's no sign of, of graphic failing on this board right now, but I had it marked as failing board. And I've noticed that if you leave these units, if you let them sit for a couple months, which this one has been, um, they'll they'll work for a few weeks or a month, and then they'll like, they'll die again. Um, so we're going to apply the DMUX to this one. Focus the micro microscope camera here. Okay. So on uh, dos website, there's uh, good instructions, great instructions on how to do this, but these are the pads that we have to solder the wires to to attach our programmer, the Lattice Programmer, which he recommends. He's got a link to it on eBay. Uh, it's pretty cheap, this thing. And what I've done, if you can see that, is I've, I've soldered my wires to a little header. And I've used this for 30 or 40 or 50 boards by now, and it's getting a little... A little melty um, but otherwise this header is still going great uh, and I've got spares if this one ever does permanently melt um, I'm putting these little pads on and I'm just tucking it over top of all the components and what it does a it it uh, insulates my wires and B it gives me a good angle for this header to sit on when I'm attaching it to the pads on the board All right, so I've got the header attached. Fire up my PC. All right, so DMUX was applied, um, eight gigs of RAM installed, and a terabyte SSD. So now I'm going to install uh, DOS Dude One's patched Mojave installer onto this unit. Um, these 2011 units with the AMD GPUs, you can't um, install Mojave or Catalina, the graphics don't don't turn out. So by disabling the GPU, it actually opens up the opportunity to put Mojave or Catalina on these units. Okay, so we're gonna do it nice and close here. I've booted to my uh, USB installer. I have to go into the disk utility. We're going to format this new SSD. Okay, now I'm going to open up terminal, check the date on this unit. I have to set the date to uh, 2019. If it's not there already, yeah. So this one is showing January 1st, 2001. So this is the issue that uh, happens a lot of the times when people are trying to reinstall macOS on a unit and they get the packages not found or not el no packages eligible for install errors. Um, and it's because the date is incorrect on these units. So I'm going to say date 0101-1200-19. So that set my date to January 1st, 12 p.m., 2019. And now I can start my install. And away she goes.
Okay, so the installer's finished. I'm just gonna shut this down. Eventually it would turn off on its own, but we just need to boot back into the USB and do the post install patch. Okay, so from the utilities menu here, it's macOS post install at the bottom. Uh, and then select the model. So the detected model is MacBook Pro 8,2. So I select that. Select our volume that we're installing on the Macintosh SSD and hit patch. Okay, so there we have it. So we've got macOS Mojave installed on this 2011 unit. Um, it, with, with an SSD and 8 gigs of RAM, these things are, are workhorses and they will go for Mac several OS more years. It contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. Okay. So... Uh, this is one more 2011 unit saved from the wreckers when my pile of units behind me here. Um, I hope you learned something, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know.